Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at how to find float times, which is part of the networks chapter. And the idea basically is you want to see if a certain activity has any leeway in terms of when the activity needs to be completed. And that is basically a reference to what the float time is. Okay, so for example, you can see on the left hand side, I've got a network which has got its forward scan, backward scan, and we're going to find the float times for these vertices. So float time basically is, well, the formula to find it is the latest start time of the next minus the early start time of the previous minus the activity time. Okay, so for example, if I want to find the float time of A, I look at the next late start time, which is 4, and I look at the previous start time of the early, which is 0, and I minus the activity. So for example, for A, you're going to have 4 minus 0, the top box, minus 4. Okay, so what's 4 minus 0 minus 4? Well, that's 0. So the flow time of zero of A sorry, is 0, which makes sense because it's on the critical path. Let's look at B. So B is there. So I look at the next late is 12, minus 4, minus 5. Okay, so that's A. B is going to be 12, minus 4, minus 5. So I think that is three. So the flow time for B is three. Okay. Let's look at C now. So C is here. So I look at the next activity. Next late is 12, 19. So 19 minus the previous early, which is nine. Minus the activity, which is seven. So 19 minus nine is 10. 10 minus seven is three. So C is three as well. Okay, let's look at D now. Okay, so D is here. And I want to find the flow time for D. So I look at the next, which is 27, minus the previous early, which is 16, minus the activity, which is eight. So 27 minus 16 is 11, minus eight is three, so also three. Okay. All right, now let's do one more, which is E. So E you can see is here. Now, because it's already on the critical path, you should know that it's gonna be equal to zero, but let's just make sure. So E will be seven. So the bottom box of the next, minus four of the earliest, which is there. And then also minus three, which is the activity. So seven minus four minus three is zero, and we are done. Okay, so pretty straightforward. So just remember this formula, latest of next minus earliest of previous minus the activity, and you'll always get the correct answer. All right, short video today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.